Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about adopting a puppy from a shelter. And is there a difference if you adopt a puppy from a shelter or a puppy from a breeder? The short answer is yes. And the long answer, we are going to dive into this in this video. The first very obvious thing is that if you adopt a puppy from a shelter, that you don't know anything about his genes, so about his DNA. You don't know anything about his parents or grandparents. Which is something that you know when you are adopting a puppy from a serious breeder. Because we have to differentiate between a serious breeder and just a random person that is breeding. You might be thinking that it is not important to know anything about the DNA of your dog and that everything is just education. But this is not true. Dogs carry in their DNA if they are rather protective or rather shy, if they are sportive or not, territorial or not, and if they are good with other dogs or not. Of course, all of these things can be trained, all of these things are also linked to their education, but it is in their DNA also. Otherwise breeds would have no sense. Breeds have been bred over decades so that the most useful characteristics continue to survive and that the useless characteristics or the unwanted characteristics will die over time. If a stray dog meets another stray dog during his heat, he will not think about, hmm, I'm very shy. He's, he's also very shy. Maybe this won't work out. No, I mean, if a female is in heat, it will just reproduce with the male that it is crossing, no matter if their characters are a good fit or not. If you have a cross between two breeds, you can be lucky and your dog can only take over the good aspects of those two breeds. But there is no guarantee for this. And then, of course, if you have a stray dog and it is a pure mix, your dog can become anything and you have absolutely no idea what characteristics could be in the dog. Then the third big difference between puppies from a shelter or from a breeder is the imprinting period. Puppies have a critical learning period, which is between three or seven weeks, but it goes further and your puppy will have a highly imprinting period until like four months. Let me show you three different cases here in the shelter of families that have been found or puppies that have been found, how they grow up differently and how this is going to impact their behavior in the future. The first puppy group is in quarantine. And let's go inside. They are in quarantine, which means that they are not allowed to go outside. As they are put in quarantine, they don't learn anything about the environment. They only know their cage, they only know their space. They have never seen the world outside. They don't see cows or other animals. They don't meet other dogs. They don't know what a car is. And actually, they don't even know how big the world actually is. They only know their little space and they don't know what's behind the walls. A serious breeder is going to introduce puppies to strangers, to different dogs. They will bring them to new places, touch them everywhere on their body and take them for a ride in a car. A shelter, of course, will not do this. They simply don't have the time. But even if they had the time, they don't have the possibilities. Okay. Let me introduce you to Jumper. Jumper has been found on his own on the streets without siblings and without mom. Unfortunately, he has been found with serious mange. As mange is an illness that he can give to other dogs, he had to be kept isolated during almost four months already. So you can only imagine what this is doing to a puppy during his whole puppyhood. Then also a big difference is that the human interaction with the puppies is poor. Only when it is cleaning or feeding time people are interacting with the puppies. Unfortunately there very often is not more time to interact. Okay now let me introduce you to the five puppies that are a little more lucky because they can go outside but on the other hand they are a little less lucky because they grow up without their mother. In a shelter there is not enough time to replace the care and the love that a mother would give to the puppies. Studies have shown that the physical and social engagement of puppies as their aggressions are directly linked to the care that the mother gives to their puppies which means that the less care they are getting the lower their social and physical engagement 
and the higher their aggression rates when they are adults of course without the mother the puppies are not getting the support that they need during times of stress which means that they are quicker stressed and that they don't know how to react towards a situation that is stressing them out when a mother is licking their puppies which is called grooming it is not only to bath them and to clean them there's also another aspect that grooming gives to the puppies that is unfortunately not given to puppies that grow up without mother. Studies have shown that puppies that are not getting the, the grooming and the love and the care of a mother develop slower and that their brain is developing slower and maybe not as much as it could potentially grow. More obviously, mothers are also showing their puppies when their behavior is not okay they are setting boundaries and limits to their puppies which is not given to puppies growing up only by their siblings unfortunately you can see that puppies only growing up with their siblings are fighting a lot more are hurting each other a lot more than puppies that are growing up with their mothers so first of all of course he has the same problems than <laughs> the other puppies that i mentioned before so this means that he has grown up in quarantine and without mother only that he even grow up without siblings which is a huge thing for a puppy to grow up without any contact to any other dogs first of all puppies are playing with their siblings so that they learn about their strength about how to use their body about that biting is actually hurting you see that he's biting me yeah because he did not learn this and that he can hurt in other ways also this is something the jumper never learned so he actually doesn't know how strong he is he doesn't know that biting is something that hurts and he doesn't know that he should not jump into my face like he's doing at this very moment yeah you're showing very well what it does to a dog to grow up without siblings and mother so true playing they normally learn when they play when a game is too rough and when they should stop the game during their first month they are learning their social behavior no jumper <laughs> they are learning their social behavior how to avoid a fight with the dog through body language or simply how to fight if it comes to a fight they learn social behavior like dominance or submission or simply mating behavior <laughs> That was the very right moment to talk about this. Puppies growing up without lip litter mates often have problems to interact with other dogs. And you can only imagine that this problem is even worse when you have a dog that is growing up without any contact to other dogs. And because they don't learn how to react to another dog that is confronting him, they often tend to be or very shy towards other dogs or very aggressive towards other dogs. This is it for Jumper. Maybe Jumper will join me again. Jumper! Ah, yeah. So now you might be asking the question, should you adopt a dog from a shelter? And I want to say it is your decision. But I personally believe that you should never buy a dog when there are so many dogs in need. But you have to be aware what you expect from your future companion and what you are prepared to put into the education of your future companion because obviously a dog coming from a shelter needs a different engagement from your side so that it will grow into a well-balanced dog. If you want to adopt a puppy from a shelter, I would suggest you talk to the organization about all the knowledge that you got in this video because now you know what to look for when adopting a puppy from a shelter and now you are aware of the consequences that their history has on their behavior. And with that you can decide which puppy fits best into your family. If you liked the information that you got into this video, please like this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. I know puppies are super cute and I think that during this video I have laughed a lot. But anyways, it is not a good thing that there are so many puppies born on the street. Some of them are lucky and come into a shelter. But as you learned now, growing up in a shelter is not being lucky either. We have to stop puppies from being born on the streets. And this can only be by castrating dogs. And if you don't know it by now, all of this YouTube channel has one single purpose, to raise donations so that I can do castrations here in Eastern Europe. So maybe if you want to help and if you want to stop puppies from being born on the street, you can donate to this cause. I will link the bank account in the description below. So feel free to become a part of this project. Thank you so much and see you next time. Highly intelligent and figures... <laughs>